Hi guys, this is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. So today we are working on a 20 inch by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I've taped off my back. I've put in my push pins and I've sprayed it as well with a little bit of water on the backside to tighten this up. You want it to sound like a drum. So on my Facebook art page, S Mac Art, I have put a post a couple of weeks ago for color um, combinations that people would like to see. And I got about, a, I don't know, like 45, 50 responses. And I told everybody I was gonna do each and every single color sequence that they put in there. And so today we're actually gonna start that. This color sequence was turquoise, coral, Payne's Gray, and Copper. Now, I have some Copper here. I actually used Arteza's Pearl Copper Gold, uh, which is right here. And you can get this color in the link below under the Arteza link. But it is a wonderfully warm color. And we're gonna see how it does. This is um, kind of like a complex color sequence. I would never put necessarily coral and copper together in the same pour, and it makes me a little nervous. So I am going to add my white, which I typically do anyways, um, but we are gonna leave gold out of it. Um, so we're gonna just put those colors over here. And I've mixed up the Payne's Gray, um, and that is about, one and a half parts paint to three parts Floetrol. I've got my uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Coral, and that is about two ounces of that bottle, which is a two ounce bottle. Anyway, so the whole bottle, two and a half an ounce or so of the Floetrol. I'm also using Modern Masters, uh, I'm sorry, Masters Touch. I always get them mixed up. Masters Touch Turquoise Deep, and that is two to one. And the Arteza is three to one. Um, again, the higher number for the tube paints is the Floetrol. I've also mixed up some Artist Love Soft Body White Acrylic. That's two to one ratio with Floetrol. Um, Floetrol being the two, the paint being the one, and then I added a couple scoops of satin enamel. Uh, the reason why I added the white is because I want to bumper that in between the coral and the copper as I do not necessarily want those colors to mix. I don't want a brown color. My paints are fairly thick, but just to be on the safe side, that's what I've done. So Jill Mullen, this is yellow, your color sequence, and uh, I hope it works out and you enjoy. So we're going to get layering a 16 ounce cup because this is a 20 by 20 i am going to need approximately 16 ounces for this pour and i'm going to start it off with a little bit of white i did decide i wanted to do a galaxy pour and that is exactly what we're going to do and we're going to put in the coral next and some Payne's gray we're gonna follow that with some copper, which will look amazing next to the deep turquoise. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white and follow it up with the coral. Um, the layers from here to about halfway up the cup are basically, or two thirds of the cup, are basically going to be your composition. And I really wanna bring some pops of color in there, hence the reason the white with the coral, and go from there. And let's follow that with the copper. We're gonna follow that with white. Paints gray. Coral. We'll put some white in there. Some paints gray. Ah, 
I'm really interested in seeing how this pans out. So I'm just gonna put the rest of the paints gray in there because I'm just about out anyways. I'm gonna follow it with some copper. I am gonna follow it with a little bit of white. No particular reason, just that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's move these excess colors out of the way. I've got my torch ready, my white paint. did just mix this up, so this is a bit bubbly. And we are gonna start to pour. I'm just gonna twist the cup a little bit here. All right, we're gonna fix the puddle a little bit. It went that way, a smidgen. We're gonna fix the center here. There we go. We're gonna give it a torch. Lots of air bubbles in there, as so I did just mix up my paints. All right, so we are gonna start moving this around. go over here. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come down in this corner. And give it some torch. There's more air bubbles popping up everywhere, which is to be expected with newly mixed paints. We're going to come on over here. I decided to do that corner because it was the least stretched out corner. <laughs> and my paints are fairly thick here. Nope, they're right back. It's not in the center. You wanna realign the weight of your paint into the center of the canvas. This is something that I learned from Gina DeLuca five years ago. I binge watched her videos and they're so informative. I 
do want to keep my hands a bit clean here. this corner over here and I go fast and I'm going to bring it back right back to the middle and then we're going to come this way and back to the middle I think I'm definitely gonna come off this corner. I am not crazy about that corner. And then I'm bringing it back to middle now. And then whatever I'm doing, it's still doing it, so. I think I'm gonna bring it down. Definitely an interesting color combination for a galaxy core. I do love the pop of coral in there, which is a wonderful pop of color compared to the rest of the colors. Now, I didn't use the 24K gold like I normally would but I'm loving all the copper in here. This is gonna look really amazing when dry. And we're gonna go from there. All right, let's bring you guys in so you can see the, the pretty colors. Love them. Got a little couple little boulder cells there. I love the one with the white stripe. Definitely has a galactic feel to it. Um, I wanted to pull this down more, but I was afraid of losing all of this. And I thought this was really cool. It's a great transition from composition into what is kind of like negative space. Anywho, Jill Mullen, this one's for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. Bye.